Hey buddies, welcome to Maths Games. My name is Simon and today we're looking at the Wibble Plus Plus. This is a number of games in Wibble Plus Plus. There's Wibble, Grabble, Phrasal, Fable and Alphabetical. This is the L deck. There are various other videos, all kinds of stuff pinging up to the right hand side. I have zoomed in a bit. And first off, we are going to be talking about Wibble, funnily enough, because it's on the game box. And if you do want to see me demoing games, you can see me with stuff by Bez at the UK Games Expo 2022. This is a 4K recording. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And the rest of the game I'll put away. Here are the cards. As with pretty much all of the LDAC games I've found so far, they do not need shuffling. I could do, but it doesn't make much difference, so I'm not even going to do it now. Unless you really want to watch me shuffle cards. Let me know in the comments. Uh, comments are best in YouTube. Uh, that's just because everyone else can see them there. That's the source of where this has been uploaded to. And aside from that, I will be talking about the variants. I have played the variants as well as regular Wibble. And I will zoom out now just to give you a bit of an indication. And I think my hand's a bit too big for this. Right, so uh, if you do want to check out the playlist, there's a Stuff by Bears playlist. There's other set of play and review playlists, such as what this is in, amongst many others. So... Wibble, it is a fast word game, or the fastest word game in the West, apparently. 10 to 25 minutes, 4 to 7 players, variants 2 to 3. I recommend it as well uh, at this uh, lower player count in particular. I highly recommend games at lower player counts, and this works well. Of course, party games, you might want to play at higher player count. This has been a good success so far. It depends how good you are with words, and there are, uh, this, let's say my, I wouldn't say house rule, but if you want to play it strategically, there's something to be said about what matters state. But do check out the description. There'll be updates there as well. Uh, please uh, head through to Patreon where you can support the channel. Also, you can go through to Instagram, over 2,300 posts. And via Facebook, you can join the discussion there. And lastly, Linktree does occasionally have competitions. So keep on checking back there. So, first off, you are going to flip uh, two cards face out, um, face up, as it states here. So, you have these two cards. I'm having it orientated towards, obviously, ourselves. And then this deck is staying face down. Just so you know, W is at the top, as you may recall and may notice. So what we're going to be doing is shouting out a single word containing at least one letter from each card. So I could shout out Noah. You know, it really depends if you want to use the Scrabble Dictionary kind of definition or not, or keep it as you will. But within reason, as long as you all agree the same stuff, it doesn't matter. I do find that quite a lot of these rules are quite open-ended in a very good way. I don't think there's ever been an issue whereby it's ambiguous. And that's like, like I said, that's why we have the comments and discussion to see what you guys like. And that's what I think is good about party games. So you could have Noah. You could choose to have nothing. You could choose to have nothing. You could have dot. You could choose to have uh, dashing or dash. You could choose to have ten. You could have hound. You could have ted or tend. You could have hen. Okay, anything you like. So two cards. Uh, Tent, okay, I'm trying to do something different. Then what happens, you're going to take one of these two cards. Now, what's important is it is important. I do like a game which is tactical, but also strategic. You can pick which card, but the next word that you have to make has to have one of those letters. So you might go, oh, I don't know. T's are lots of words, but these are lots of words too. So now you're going to flip over the next card. And again, you're going to continue and uh, you'll see what happens. You're trying to get to four cards, basically. And so you go, oh, uh, tin. Well, that works for me because I can do 10, okay? And then I can take either card. Again, I'll take this one. And then let's go again. And of course I could do Tidden, but that's German and I, hopefully I won't offend anyone there. So I could say Dig Digging or something. Um, I could choose to do, what do I have here? H-I, Hid, Hidden, Hiding. Um, greatening, Great, Great, Greatening. Uh, you might, you're probably shouting out words at me right now, I'd imagine. Uh, let me know if you see anything different. There's probably tons. Of, well, there's going to be loads. So uh, I'll get on to my review. Okay, this is how to set up play review. Hinting. Hint. There we go. I'm going to take one. Of them. But suddenly, look, it's made it really hard for me. This is an excellent catch-up mechanism because suddenly I've made it hard for me. Everyone else is going to catch up. It kind of happens with Love Letter, but that's different. What that's doing is, of course, you're just going to, you know crush on the leader if you can, that kind of stuff, you know, constantly try to, you know, accuse them. So, you know, Quacks of Quidlinburg has a great catch-up mechanism as well. This is quite different, but very clever. If you're smart and you do stuff like this, like, ugh, you're stuck. Uh, another game that works quite well, effectively, surprisingly, is uh, Counting Cats, whereby you think someone's doing really well, but they still make mistakes, they get complacent. So there is, there's a separate video for Counting Cats, so please let me know about your thoughts are for that one. 
And again, you can check it out on the playlist. So to check through to playlists. So like I said, all you're doing is you are revealing cards. You're simply flipping over a card and trying to match it. That's all you're doing. Subsequent turn, just to be clear, uh, the first player to do so takes either card in front of them. Then again, you're going to continue doing it. So you've got to do one of those two things. You can choose however you want to do it. You can play with fewer players. You have 12 cards for players from the deck. Now you can still play with round handicaps, to be honest. Even with three, we didn't need this. It was very effective and highly rewarding and enjoyable and uh, memorable. And again, crucially, people say, I like that one, yeah, I want to play it again. You know, I, I won't give you a ranking on what other people said of these, but it was in the top two, better that way. So that's really good. I don't think it really matters what people think. So uh, the fact that not all of these have been designed by Bez, but this one has, I think is a, is a good thing. I will just double check that. I, I think it is based on here. So. Again, there are other things you can be doing. You can choose to obviously put a time pile on it. You can have certain other limitations. Um, but yeah, if one person's clearly better, they can start with a random card in the handicap row, which makes a lot of sense. So I do like the fact that they have benefited from that. And let's just talk about something I've done before. I've literally taken a card and thought, well, I've got, you know, I've now got hin. I need, you know, what could I make? And I think that's not, I'm not saying it's not allowed. I don't want there to be analysis paralysis. But the downside is if I'm trying to get you know, hint or something, and, you know, and I don't get it. I mean, I could do hints, or I could do shin. So I'm having to try and think what it could possibly be. And that could be good, obviously, for myself. It could be bad, because I'm stuck thinking about shin. And actually, if the next letter was actually this, then I don't know. It could be harder. Who knows? So, I, I you know, I, I, was, I wasn't saying I was cheating, but let's just say I was, you know, you could choose to try and think. And that's not a bad thing, necessarily. If people agree to that, and they're saying, look, you know, I'm trying to think what word it could be and then do it. Because whilst you're doing that, they're thinking too. So it might be a case that you flip and then you're dictating the, that tempo. It might be the case if you lose, you might want to choose to be the car flipper because suddenly, while someone else is trying to puzzle out what they've still got, that might be very good. So that's that side of Wibble, of course. And the other side is just, to, oh, we didn't even need to use this FAQ. I don't even know what's on here. If many of the cards are the same letter on them, is it easier? No, each letter on the word can only be satisfied single card, just to make sure that's clear. Are all worlds a world? No, so here we go. No proper nouns. Words already used to take cards this game. Not derivatives are the same as else. There we go. You can't do that again. What if players shout simultaneously? The shortest word wins the card. Okay. If the words are the same length, the first alphabetical one's written. If that's the same, take one card and flip two more. So great. What if I shout something wrong? If I make a mistake, you can no longer win the current card. If any one player is competing for a card, they collect automatically. So there we go. That sorts out. One other thing that did occur, uh, and I have never been in a game involving a table spill. I've seen it a lot. It's been horrifying. And um, that is the trouble with playing at pubs and stuff like this. I uh, happened to be playing, having a new at home game with a, a nice hot peppermint tea and I happened to spill it and the deck is completely fine. I was really surprised. I thought I'd ruined it. So the cards hold up to hot, very hot, so hot I couldn't even pick up the cards and it's come through the other side brilliantly. So uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that, but it has worked very effectively. So quality of components, highly recommended. Uh, my rating, I can't recall what I gave this now, but I would give this a high 7. I think my average rating being a 6.3 is uh, pretty harsh for some people, uh, and harsh compared to so many high uh, number of reviewers, but this is, you know, this is borderline great. It's, I think it's very good. It works very effectively, of course, at any game. How many times you want to play it, who knows? But I will be playing it, I think, quite a bit, or at least other games in the L deck. So I hope you found that of interest. More games to come. So if you found this of interest and it's a, you know, it's tasting appetite. Whilst I'm here, I am going to grab and show you two other games, which uh, also by Bez. So uh, major results with Yogi and Yoga Guru, and I do talk about counting cats. There is Krasakaka, so that's another game which is very similar. That's the German edition. I have played the blue orange edition as well. So this is the game Wibble. Wibble plus plus. It comes in, and again, I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to bringing you that next video. Back to the table.